So this is uh, Terminator Dark Fate Defiance. I've been playing it for the last couple of days. Uh, it's a demo uh, of a game that's coming out later on this year. The demo will be available, I think it's on October the 9th on um, the Steam Next Fest. It's, it's a game by Slytherin and it's named after the worst Terminator movie ever, ever, ever. Dark Fate. I don't know what tie-ins it has with Dark Fate. Certainly in the demo I couldn't see any. Uh, but to be fair, I can't really remember much about Dark Fate because I kept falling asleep at how bad the movie was. Um, I don't know why they've chose to name the, the, the game Dark Fate. That's like probably the worst name they could have chose. But never mind. It's here and it's a Terminator game. And I'm a huge Terminator fan and I'm a huge RTS fan. So bring it on. Now the demo is um, a three mission it's, it's kind of like the campaign, uh, three missions from that, I, I believe, very early on. You don't get all the bits in between the missions where you can uh, do things to your units and that. That'll be there in the actual uh, full game. But as far as the demo's concerned, you just get three kind of snippets of... It's basically showing you the graphics, how the game works, the different types of units you can get, and what kind of enemy you're up against. It's that kind of thing. Now, I found it very heavily scripted in the sense that you don't get to build a base and produce your own units. You're given a set amount of units at the beginning and then things unfold as the story's told and new units arrive on the battlefield and lots and lots of new enemies. And so you might have to escort people here, hold a base there, things like that. It's all quite heavily scripted with voiceovers for all the characters. It didn't run great for me on my 2080. I was getting massive frame drops, but I'm not overly concerned about that because it's just like an early demo. Uh, the game isn't due out for a few more months and I'm sure they'll have time to have a look at what's causing that and hopefully address it before launch. The graphics look quite nice, um, the setting looked quite atmospheric, the sound effects are awesome, They're really really awesome and so are the visual effects when you're having some uh, combat. It's kind of straight out of the, you know when you see in the, the, the Terminator movies when it jumps to the future of when it, the, the man versus the machines in the full on war, it just oozes that and it's very very atmospheric. Every unit in the game has ammo. You can run out of ammo. It's not like an RTS where you just make a unit and it has unlimited ammo. Uh, you have ammo. You've got to manage your ammo. You have different types of ammo as well. And certain ammo is good against certain types of units. You have ammo resupply trucks that you can bring in and uh, re rearm and refuel as well because you'll run out of fuel in this. So it is a quite micro heavy game which is a bit concerning if there's a lot going on because it works great, these kind of things in turn-based games, whether it'll work in a real-time strategy, although we have seen it work quite well in, in other games, such as Steel Division, where you had to rearm and refuel your weapons in that. So it, it can work uh, in games like this, in, in real-time strategy games, but I am a bit concerned that there might be a bit too much to micro. We'll see when the game's out. I also found the map area is very small that I was actually playing in, in the actual demo. Um, you seem to to and fro across the, the battlefield a few times rather than having really big maps. I don't know whether that's going to be a thing when the game actually releases, whether there's going to be big maps. I don't know if there's going to be resource gathering. I don't know if there's going to be factory building and unit uh, building like a classic RTS game. I hope there is because that would be fantastic. Or whether it's going to be more of a, there's a few units that you get, you've got to micro manage them, repair them. Uh, rearm them and just try and build your way up across the map with that because there is quite a, a a deep kind of concentration on unit management in this game with the various different ammo types that you can have refueling rearm and repairing and things like that so it's it maybe is a game like that it, although it does uh, ship with skirmish mode now i'm hoping that we'll have versus ai i know it does have co-op um, and it does have multiplayer, so I'm assuming it has co-op versus AI. That would be cool, considering it's a Terminator game with AI. So we'd see how that goes. I would expect the AI to be good. But a lot of it is just, you know, this is just a taste of it. I'm still quite excited about the game. It's not as good as I hoped that it would be. Um, it's, it's kind of not what I expected, to be honest. Um, I was expecting sort of a classic RTS style in a Terminator skin, which would have just been great for me. But it is more of a, it's more sort of a, like a micromanaging thing. I just hope that it does have the factory units and that. I know it has different types of 
uh, human factions that you have to consider and if you make the wrong decisions in the story you can have human units uh, factions actually fighting against you apparently there's some deep decision making that you have to do in this game uh, so we'll see it, it's it does sound quite good and exciting but we'll see where it where it is this is just a demo you can't really make any kind of uh, judgment on a demo because it's it's a tiny fraction of the game and um, we don't know really what's what's in the main game when it comes one thing that I will mention when the demo does drop on the 9th of October there will be a skirmish map included in that um, I don't have that yet but I will be downloading the demo on the 9th to just purely to play that skirmish map i'm curious to see how that works curious to see how you get units uh and you know that might be a really good fun mode to actually play but there you go guys terminator dark fate defiance is uh, a new terminator game coming out and you can all play the demo on the 9th of october uh, when it drops on steam next fest